Hey, Ryan, as a leader of this team, when you come off of, of two impressive wins like you had coming into this one, and then you see it kind of drift away like it did in the first half, what is your job in terms of making sure in the future you can keep going when you win games and that you don't maybe follow up a success with something disappointing like this? We have to come out and start games with, with a sense of urgency. Um, I think we, we did in practice. We practiced with some urgency this week. I didn't feel like there was a, a relaxation or, or anything in practice. Um, but at the end of the day, on Sunday, when, when the ball is kicked off, we have to be ready to go and can't come out slow and, and put ourselves in a hole like that. So uh, just a matter of, of approaching every Sunday in itself and, and coming out with a sense of urgency. Corey? Ryan, it would have been easy for you guys to, to pack in it at halftime and you put on a baseball cap for the second half of this one. How important, despite the loss, to come out and, and make it respectable there at the end? Well, this team's full of fighters. I mean, um, that's not characteristic of, of the way we play and the way we, we fight and, and believe in ourselves. And we've been in some holes before, never never like that, but uh, and being able to fight back. And you know, really, we had an opportunity there to, to cut it to a two-score game heading into the into the fourth quarter. And we've been in that situation before and been able to, to come out with a win. So, um, you know, we still felt like if we took care uh, of our opportunity and took advantage of it, then, you know, who knows what can happen? Defense gets a stop, a turnover. And as long as we're scoring, uh, chipping away at it, who knows what can happen? So that was our mindset going out there, uh, just battle one drive at a time and, and try to find a way to score each drive and uh, see what happens from there. Terry? Ryan, at what point today did you kind of have to just scrap the original game plan and just kind of start chucking it around? It seemed like that, uh, you know, most of what happened in the second half was uh, just drives where, you know, you had to pick it up and throw it every play and all. Yeah, I mean, obviously we were down huge. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what the score was at that point, but I think it was 31 point lead or something like that. So, um, you know, not the situation you want to be in. And uh, at that point, you need to score, and you need to score fast. And every time you touch it, so obviously I had to uh, make some adjustments there. John Glennon. Hey, Ryan, I know one of the trademarks for the offense this year has been uh, to limit uh, turnovers. How uh, you know surprising, unlikely was it to see the ball on the on the ground so many times today? And uh, how big an impact uh, did that have on the game? Yeah, it's definitely not the way uh, we like to play. Uh, I think we pride ourselves on taking care of the football. And um, we didn't do that. We weren't clean enough today. You know, starting off with the, uh, the fumble early, um, they were they were clicking on offense. They were rolling. We we really needed to get something going there, and give them the short field. You know, didn't help. Uh, you pair that with, like I mentioned, going into the the fourth quarter there, um, an opportunity to to go up, or not go up, but make it a, a two score game there at the start of the, the fourth quarter, and you're in that ball game. And uh, we weren't able to to finish that drive, end up turning it over down there. So. Um, yeah, we got to be cleaner. I have to take care of the football. And, uh, you know, we like to feast on those situations whenever teams give us the ball. And today it was the opposite. David? Ryan, when you come out after halftime and Michael Pruitt, mm -hmm. who's, you know, not Derrick Henry, not A.J. Brown, for example, scores two touchdowns in, in about five minutes there, the second on a good bounce, does that add to the sense that, hey, something is possible here? Yeah, we just needed to score. I and mean, it doesn't really matter who scores or, or how it gets done, but uh, we needed to score. We were able to get those those scores pretty quick and and keep ourselves in the game a little bit. And then, like I mentioned, you know, we just weren't able to capitalize on, on the next drive. But, um, you know, this team has a, a next man up mentality. And uh, I think there's a belief in one another, no matter what's going on out there, that we just got to play our game and, and make plays. And Michael did a great job of stepping in for us and making some huge plays for us. Teresa? Ryan, on the initial drive, the uh, fourth and one, uh, what was your si sign? And did you think that Den Derek had the first down on that play? It was tough for me to see uh, from my angle, being behind the play. Uh, they got some quick penetration, and, and Derek you know, did it as best as he could. Uh, but from where I was, was standing behind the play, it was tough to really see. Jim? Ryan, you're 8-4, tied with the Colts a quarter of the season to go. How important is it to, to just – forget this one now and make sure you're get get on track starting next Sunday. Well, it's going to be huge. You know, obviously we can't, can't forget it without looking, taking a real look at, at why this game went the way it did and uh, evaluating that 
and making the corrections. And once we're able to do that, we'll put it to bed and, and get ready for the next one. So I have to learn from this one, um, clean some things up. Obviously, we didn't play well enough. And then come out, you know, on Wednesday, the sense of urgency, carry that through uh, until the kickoff on Sunday. Two more, Drake. Ryan, even going back to the end of the the, set, the first half, when you kind of went into halftime with that fumble from AJ, is especially after the couple of weeks he's had um, and the performances that he's had, is there something that you can tell him or that you can kind of get him back into the game? Is it you know, kind of getting balls and targeting him more early in the second half, or how do you approach that sort of adversity? Yeah, just telling AJ I believe in him. Obviously, uh, some plays I think he'd like to have back, but um, you know he's made huge plays for us this whole year, the past two years, and he's going to continue to make big plays for us. So uh, obviously just have a couple things to clean up, but we believe in AJ and, and AJ is going to continue to, to make plays for us. Last one, Gentry. Yeah, Ryan, last season you guys followed up uh, the win in Indy by going to Oakland and winning pretty big. And uh, do you, there was a sense kind of then you guys were building and improving to, to what ended up happening. Do you, do you still get that sense this year as well in spite of what, happened today that uh, this team is is headed in that same trajectory yeah we, I mean we've done some good things obviously what you what you've done doesn't really matter you know how you perform each and every Sunday you have to go out and um, and earn it and earn the win so we'll see we'll see how this team responds I believe in our guys I believe in our leadership and and our culture and the way we like to play now it's a matter of, of putting it to the test and and making it happen